Thank you for volunteering to join me. This should be a fairly straightforward reconnaissance mission, so long as we do not have ill fortune to run afoul of an Imperial patrol. Come, our destination is beyond East End, just north of Velodnia. Let's go, friends. Bye, everyone. Ba -la -ba -la -ba. Oh, just in case. Just in case we're ending up in combat land. Oh, maybe I should go this way around? Cogs. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I'm going to make a statement. I don't know if I can actually qualify, but I feel like there's less glass walling in these newer zones. Does that make sense? Did not like what they did to hunters and how to tame pet and have to spend hours to get the books and how to tame pets. Uh, are there still some that you need to do that for? I feel like Beastmaster can tame everything. Some things are learned from books, that's that that is true actually. But like you can get a whole bunch of really awesome pets without that. So I'm not too fussed about about that. I've been I've been very happy with Hunter as a class recently. Wow, look at those. They look like stick insect versus bug. Creepy. Castellum Corvi. this place they're like five books you have to get yeah but they're for like very specific pet classes or like pet looks there's a ton of stuff I mean you can tame much more without those in, than you can from the books if that makes sense back in vanilla well you used to have to feed your pet yeah you did I remember that very well There was a satisfaction heart there really was. And you used to have to carry that shit in your bag along with your arrows. Do you remember having to carry arrows and ammo? It was a thing. Wow, look at this place. And the engineer one, uh, take about four weeks to get it. Gnomes just automatically can do the engineering ones. So I don't have that problem. Ah, uh, hey no, and win. You find Final Fantasy more calm as well, Rain. Even the uh, stuff in WoW I found intimidating in WoW. I do in Final Fantasy easy peasy, and just feel the general community provides that atmosphere. Yeah, there's definitely like an atmospheric difference. It's it's a bit is more chill, it's a bit more chill, a bit less competitive. I think not having DPS meters and things makes a big difference actually to uh, to how the game vibes because. Um, that adds that, that compared you can see how everyone's doing so you know that people can see how you're doing and that puts you under pressure I think so things like that healing meters DPS meters um, horrible add-ons that go cap stood in the fire cap just used his cooldown cap did this as oh my god like it's a it's a different vibe you didn't mind feeding pet in classic I didn't either uh, the MMO was taken uh, back to such simple time that those small little things didn't feel overwhelming because you're not constantly having to think about your dailies or weeklies, etc. Yeah, like it was a it, classic was a different time. It was a slower journey. This ought to be close enough. Now we settle in for a long watch. That said, it would be prudent to keep your weapons at the ready in the event of passing patrol stumbles upon us, or worse. Upon reconnoitering Castilian Ved. <gasps> Are we ready? We're going into a cutscene fest. It might not be a long one. Sometimes these like are like, but look, things gonna happen, and then then it's not very much. But the warning is very <laughs> concerned, Doge. No, not the concern, Doge. We're we're ready. We're ready. Okay. Is everyone comfortable? Does anyone want to like get a sound alert out of their system? A sub, anything like that before we go into the cutscene. 
Because if you do, now is the time. Because we're about to cut scene it up. Everyone's like, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Sloppy. Everyone's like, do it, do it. I'm waiting for the lalas. It's coming. It's clearly delayed. There you go. How about the sound panel? Everyone's happy. Okay. Are we are we feeling better? We're feeling, everyone's feeling ready now. We got got it out of our system. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time. I love that it says that, but it doesn't tell you how long they are. <gasps> is this a duty? In crimson, it began. In crimson, it began. The name sounds bad. Excellent. The disposition of the Imperial forces is exactly as expected. I will notify Father. fire where did it come from where the hell did it come from smoke there is that oh gods it's ralga's reach <gasps> shit it's no use i think someone's jamming our communications shit you don't think could this be part of a coordinated attack? Too early to draw conclusions. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once. Abort, abort, abort. Oh, it's got the stress music as well. Wee, 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 wee. Stress, 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 stress. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, so those fuckers are skulls. Oh no, I hate her. Forward! Forward! Give them no quarter! Oh god, Krile and Stola here. Come on, Mifrid. Oh shit. You! Oh, she's badass. Traitor! Kinslayer! You're no kin of mine! What's her damage? Don't hurt me, Frid. Yes, Lise. Don't you get hurt. Take you. Yes. Oh my God! The boss man's here. Well, well. Stand aside, Pilus. This one has promise. He's literally bought his knife block. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. No, she's not. Mm, do not disappoint me, girl, or I will kill you. God, he's a bit bloodthirsty, isn't he? Or did he just randomly pick, like a revolver? Seven hells! It's him. It's Xenos. The voice right. Oh, you are a dead man. Ah! Ooh, okay. 
so spirited and yet so empty. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's Please it, girl. Run! Ah, a magical barrier. Alas. It will not save you. Oh, I don't know, this is Stoller. Oh, shit. Hold the line, Byroga! Hold the line! Oh my god, I've broken out of sweat. <gasps> oh my god. Literally, like, no survivors. Kryl! Alphano! We saw the smoke and thought we heard explosions. Are we under attack? The Imperials were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. It was chaos. No. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and bought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. Confound it! If we lose the Reach, this will all have been for naught! Arenvold, can you escort these people to the Wall? Aye, sir. Good lad. Our place is at the Reach. We must offer such aid and succour as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. Absolutely. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, we may yet turn the tide. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. Yeah, come with us, Kryl. <laughs> Cannon's like, breathe. I'm like, okay, breathing is important. Yes, remember to breathe. I feel you're right. Come, there is no time to lose. I did goad him to join the battle earlier, D-Rec. I feel bad now. Let's get back in there. Come on. Come on. Let's sort this shit out. I can't believe what happened to Stoller. I'm like, what? Or Mithrid either. I've known Mithrid since Quarry Mill. He's my friend. Why are they duty commenced? Oh my god. Gods help us, they're killing everyone. We have to stop them, whilst there's still someone left to save. It's like fucking loot me. Drill in your face, scum. It's all over now. Stress, 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 stress. Okay, where are the survivors? Where are the survivors? Come on, come on, come on. The Imperials came from nowhere, so they've cutting people down left and right. Reinforcements are on the way. Spread the word. We should keep moving. Good evening, Mrs. B. Bad things are happening. Really bad things are happening. Oh, 
We're not okay. How are you? Yeah, me. Get off my friends. Bad people came to Ragaz region hurt our friends. They did. They really did. In like the worst possible way. Those monsters. These people had surrendered. It's not too late for the others. We must hurry. For the glory of the flames! Yes, Pippin. Oh my god, I love Pippin. <laughs> Pippin's a true la la hero. Where's this dollar? They, they took these and the others deeper inside. You've got... Oh, did they die? Come on, gang. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There they are. We're not too late. Look at me trying to read the cutscene dialogue as it happened as well. Rebel's oh, gone! One. Well... Well, a rescue party, is it? We'll see about that. There you go. You see when we smash it to pieces. <laughs> bad people. Yeah, really bad people. It's not okay. I'm not happy with anything that happened here. What's going on? Yes. <gasps> Lease! <clears throat> Don't worry about Lease, she's alive. What about Shola? I need your help. They better be okay. I can't lose them. My lord, the song. prisoners. See to your men, Pilus. As you command, my lord. Why does he carry a knife rack with him? It's just like enigmatic, isn't it? Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? Me? Entertain? Do this. We can him here and now. We can end this. Okay, let's go. Let's As do one. If I want to try. Be gone. Get 
Give me something to remember. Yeah. He's a very bad man. Mate, on Hunter on Zoom called Moozy B. Moozy B. Now, in face, I love this. Welcome to Infinity Challenge. I was thinking about um, making my Volpira a gnome again today. Wow, I got a funky feeling I'm not meant to win this. Better, but lacking nevertheless. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hydlin, help me! Just see, I misjudged you. This ends now. Moose's B? Sorry, Moose's B. Oh my god, I got it! When you, you had to, like, I was busy, sorry. You had to write out like that for my brain to go, oh yeah, I get it. That is genius. That's even more genius than I thought it was in the first place. Uh, Pathetic. Your sword just broke. Am I even okay? Seven hells. Yeah, mate. Some shit went down. Not worth it. Not worth it. Let him go. Shall we give chase, General? No. <laughs> we'll be Nay, alive. There has been enough death this day. See to the wounded. <sighs> Aye, sir. You all right, lad? Aye. I'm all right. I just don't like losing. Yeah, I think my pride took him up there. I'm gonna say that. There's no ordinary foe could best the likes of you. Right? The Kai Regent's gonna be busy with this lot for a while, jeez. Stolen really took a fucking kick in. Don't you die on me, Ashola! Hold on! Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Alpha, no, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. Just stand there gawping. Hold her down while I work. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm only little. I'll do me best. The worst is past, but without the proper facilities, I can do no more. Shit. Master Kemp too would be better served in the infirmary. 
Let us take them there without delay. Oh, God. Give us a hand, would you, Lise? Uh, uh, of course. Get some more lalas. We'll do it like ants. Let's go. I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. No problem. I got this. I'll swap to Sage. Everything will be fine. Jesus, this game. Just cast resurrection spells. Resurrection only works if they're still if they still have life force. Um so yeah. If there's no life force, there's no resurrection. Just what happened to Orshafar. I can't really bear to lose another Scion right now, so I'm just gonna pretend everything's fine. You did well, Captain. You save lives. No matter what happens, remember that. Now then, let's do what we came for the wounded. Do what we can for the wounded. Every minute counts. Yeah. You can write it us. I'm Raban's got haunted look in his eyes. Siege of the wounded cabin. If they live, help them. If not, move on. Move on. Da -da 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 -da. Mefred lies motionless, having breathed his last, clenching his fist to the small charm which she take for safekeeping. Mefred is one of the good ones. He was already cold when I got to him. There wasn't all I could do. That charm must have been important. You'd best take it to Conrad. Even the music changed. I first met Mefred in Quarry Mill when he was trying to save one of his own men. It is sad. Comrades awake. Dargo. Mefred. Where are you? No. I hate I like having to tell people that someone they love has passed away is even worse than the actual thing itself sometimes. This this is He's dead, isn't he? Mefred was a warrior, always thinking about others before himself. He once had an Imperial patrol chase him nigh on twenty mounds, so that his wounded would have time to heal. Oh, I need to stop that. His comrades love him for it, of course, though that only made him worry more. Did you know that he sent his men in Quarry Mill away because he thought they were fighting for him, and not the cause? Aye, well he did. The only life he was willing to risk was his own, you see. But that's exactly the kind of man who should be a leader. The kind of man who deserves to survive. Not an old fool who's used up already. There's no logic to it, Master Kemp. There never is. Who stands, who falls, in the heat of battle, 
we can but do our best, as he did. Mefred will be sorely missed, I, but because of his sacrifice, many now live whom otherwise would not, and they need us now more than ever. Aye, aye, they do. Forgive me. I had high hopes for him, that's all. Blah, 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 Hovis. Can you still even buy Hovis? Is that still a bread? Raugar's reach is no longer safe. Our defeat was no near thing. It was total. A humiliation. We were powerless to withstand our enemy's assault. But we cannot afford to dwell on our failure. As Alphanod said, it is those who survived whom we must think of now. Ralgar's reach is no longer safe. The Imperials may have withdrawn, but they could return at any time to finish what they began. We dare not remain here. Those who are not fit to make the journey to Castramorians will need to be taken by Chocobo carriage, agreed? Good. I shall oversee preparations for the carriages. In the meantime, I would have you scour the infirmary for any supplies that might prove useful during the journey. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Surprise sneeze. Whoa. Okay, Arella, we need supplies. Let's take all the glowy things and all the little red things. Thank you. Forgive me, but it is imperative that I continue to prepare medicines for the wounded. If you desire treatment, I must ask that you seek it elsewhere. <laughs> oh, I see. In that case, you are free to search the barber and take that which you require. I would not have our people dying en route. I would assist you, but this process demands my undivided attention. <laughs> Fine. Let's search the barber. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -boo -ha -ba -ba. Okay, let's go, Flame Courier. Sir Marshal Turpin said you might have something for me. I have medications, medical supplies. Twelve be praised. This should put the driver's hearts at ease. Tell the Vice Marshal we await his orders. Load him up and roll out. Dollar and the others are safely strapped in. Don't worry, I'll be by her side the entire time. Thank you, Kryle. I'll walk alongside. They'll need protection in case the Guardians try anything. Hang on, you're injured too, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in one of the carriages? I'm not so frail that I can't make the trip on my own. Besides, there's still work to be done here. I'll see at you at the wall when it's finished. As you wish. Then let us set forth at once. We shall move as quickly as our comrade's health allows. To cash them Orions. Bereft of hearth and home. Comrade is a man struggling to cope with a bitter reality. Yeah, aren't we all? You saved a good many of my men, and I cannot thank you enough for that. But the fact remains that our forces were decimated, and this state will not be mounting an assault on Castilian Valladona any, or, any, or anywhere else. We need to be honest with ourselves about our prospects. But first, we need to put our affairs in order here. Afterwards, I'll join you at all at Castramorians. Understood. We will go and speak with General Aldin. Just 
general out and we're coming to save the day. Where are you? Why are you over here? Let's come and cross the bridge. Do -do 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 -do. Spish. Horsey doesn't like the water either. Sorry, Horsey. Pippin has already departed for the wound with the wounded, has he? Good. We have completed our search of the reach and surrounding area. As far as we can tell, Xenos and his men returned straight away to Specular Imperiatus Imperatoris Imperatoris after quitting this place. It would seem he's lost interest in us. Which brings us to the most troubling question of all. Not how he found us, but why he chose to spare our lives having done so. In war, you kill or capture your enemy. You don't leave him to fight another day. Only a fool will turn his back and walk away. Xenos is no fool. Whatever his motive, this is neither the time nor place to think on it. I will relieve a token force to watch over the reach. The rest will fall back to Castramorians. We can discuss our path forward there. Oh, we can just, um... We can just... Well, that entire quest chain was intense. That was a lot more intense than I was expecting early on. Right, so hang on a minute. I want to keep a body count tracker of, like, key characters. We are body count tracker one. Mifrid. Okay. I need a body count tracker. It's getting too intense. It's getting too intense. It's already like we're very early in the story. If Stormblood is as long as people say it is, like we're super early in and like Mifrid down. We're already one down. I'm not okay with it. Cry Alice with Charlotte. with here. He's with the Ishtola. She still hasn't woken up, but Cry I'll say she's She's through the worst. Given the severity of her wound, we could have hoped for no more. Let us pray she makes a full recovery. We lost a lot of good people, didn't we? I saw it happen, and the Skull's commander cut down Mifred. A single blow, and that was it. Everything he fought for, all his hopes and dreams for the future, gone in an instant. I do you want to know the worst part? It wasn't a Galleon who did it. It was an Alamegan. Gods help me, if I ever... No, not now. Not while the general's waiting. Oh, please. This is like... taking its toll on Lise a lot. It's quite a long time without a dungeon, too, do you think? Oh, yeah, I suppose it is actually, isn't it? That really crossed my mind. But you're right, it has been a wee while without like a dungeon moment. But then saying that, I feel like in Heaven's Ward... Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like in Heaven's War we had a dungeon sooner. I don't know, but it was still like, it was still a long ways though. So, it wasn't like, it wasn't like super early on. If that makes sense. Um, Baelsar's Wall? No, that was the end of Heaven's Ward, officially. That was patch content. So since then, we've had nothing, dungeon-wise. But that was, like, quite a significant duty, and I can see why that's a duty and not a dungeon. 
Uh, there was a long time uh, without a dungeon in the beginning of Heaven's Ward 2. That's what I thought. I was just trying to like think back, and I'm trying to think what the first dungeon of Heaven Heaven's Ward was. But it felt like it was quite a wee while before we got there. Final Fantasy expansions are pretty formulaic. Dungeons always at the same levels. Oh, yeah. So someone said that before, actually, like a long time ago, and it's just rung a bell. So like, they're at set, like set levels in this in the story quest aren't they like in terms of like how they release and stuff there is no need for thanks we are allies are we not oh has his voice gone deeper aye just so let us not dwell on this tragedy but look to the future aye let us do that. The future? I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <laughs> They've ripped the heart out of us, General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. So the first MSQ dungeon heaven's war was 53. Okay, so like yeah, 53, 63, 73. That ma makes sense. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being. For what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. Mask Kemp, it's not over yet. There's always hope. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi, the Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. Oh, gross. Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, Raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. Uh, indoctrination is a powerful thing. It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors. But they're our children. Our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nago, what will you say to the families of the fallen? To the mothers and the widows and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. No, I, I can never agree with Rabbi. And when Xenos comes back with his army, what then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. Hello, I'm the Warrior of Light. I'll give it another go. We'll find a way. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. God help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Balesar in Alamigo, Zenos led the Imperial Army to Doma, where he crushed the rebellion utterly. As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? Yeah, what is our solution to the problem? That is what we need. Can I feel you're about to tell us? We fight and we fight and we keep on fighting until we win. Or do I say we take the fight to Doma? Take the fight to Doma. What advantage would that give us? Would that distract from things here and give us an opportunity here to rebuild? Would saving Doma allow us to come back here with Doman forces? Ah. <sighs> I like this attitude. I feel like we just keep on, keep on fighting, fight, fight, fight. Let's do it. I'm not a strategist. 
come now, even you have your limits. But then, so too must he. One legatus ruling two provinces a world apart. Exactly. Yes, divide and conquer. We kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. Yes, what are we actually going to do about Xenos himself? He's the problem, not the troops. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild. And when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there. And make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Hope you have a good day. If you want to lurk away, that is absolutely fine. Enjoy yourself. Uh, there was a current dungeon at 51, so kind of required. Oh, there was, wasn't there? Yeah. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Freak him. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Alamigo has suffered enough. Alamigo is fucked. That's that's what we've learned today. Absolutely fucked. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the follow there as well. How are you doing? Hmm. Possibly to Doma we go then, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. That that's also a good point, actually. You're right. It wasn't it wasn't MSQ, was it? Because I remember having to pick up a quest. Wasn't it a quest from that little camp, like north of Camp Dragonhead? Where we had to pick it up as an ether current quest? So first dungeon's a plus one max level of previous special. Ah, okay, I see what you mean. So like, if you pick them up sort of thing, like optional dungeons, but the MSQ is going to deliver one at like 63. 53, 63, 73 sort of thing. I follow. I follow, I do, I do. It goes without saying, but the Scions alone have not the strength to topple a provincial government, here or anywhere else. And I'm quite certain the same can be said of the Dome and Liberation Front. Nevertheless, we can but go and assess the situation for ourselves and see what can be done. Lest you doubt what good we few can accomplish, I would remind you that my grandfather and his twelve disciples once journeyed to these lands to save Aeorzea and her people from certain doom. Brave souls and an impossible task, and Aeorzea lives on. Our present mission may not be as monumental in scope, but it is no less important to the multitudes whom we would free from imperial oppression. Whom we will free. Correct. Ba, 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 ba. So the first trials are at plus three, a previous max level. Ba, 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 ba. So, that was Lady Isal, wasn't it? Shiva was the first trial in Heaven's Ward. Is that right? So your first dungeon will be 51, 61, 71. First trial will be 53, 63, 73. Ah. Okay, got exciting stuff is happening. Why are you doing MSQ Quest of Sage? Just to get a bit of XP. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, there is cause to hope. Our grandfather believed that, and so do I. But before we can forge ties with our friends in the east, we must first find a way to reach them. Othard is not exactly over the river and through the woods. I am one step ahead of you, dear sister. Or rather, Tataru is. But before we discuss that, there is another issue I wish to address. 
Uh, we should maybe stop there, or we might give spoilers. Yeah, definitely stop there. Don't want no spoilers. We've got 20 minutes left of stream today, and I'd like to get to the. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm about to get to Doma and maybe get to a big city. So don't spoil that for me. I don't want to know. But I feel that might be what's about to happen. So I'm. I'm gonna kind of like just follow through these next few quests. Just, just follow through. Um, IBS warning. Uh, and um, and then we'll stop on on 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be 10 o'clock sharp today because the boyfriend's tired. Wants to get to bed. I want to get to bed. I need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow is a day off. We're back on Friday, don't forget, for a double stream day, just like today. Work and luck from 12 till 5. And then stream, stream in the evening from uh, 7 till late, assuming all is well and I can get agreement from the Famalam to do that. And then I'll be off on a Saturday, Sunday. And I may stream on Monday. I don't know. I might do like a little daytime number for bank holiday realness, but that will be optional and will be tweeted out on my socials. Um, but let's carry on for a little bit before we get caught up in wrapping up because stuff is happening and we may get to Doma today. Much as I would like it if we could all make this journey together, someone will need to remain to serve as liaison to the Alliance and the Resistance during this critical period. Moreover, as Ishtola cannot be left unattended, then I should obviously remain. Very well, issue addressed. You know Alpha No. It would have been quicker just to ask and markedly less patronising. Yes, I suppose. Um, <laughs> Would you be willing to look after Stoller and provide support to Aaronvald and the others? Yes, Alpha Node, I would. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Enjoy your trip, and don't you dare return with a gift. Oh, I would not dream of it. Um, right then, sister, Captain, please gather your things. Uh, we are for Limsa Limsa. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I understood you, Siri, don't worry. But I was also just thinking of, um, like, saying, if I am about to get to Doma, don't tell me. I was having a separate thought process. Don't worry. I love her, me too. Right, this is going to be an ether current. Yes. And then that is going to be an ether current, because there are five. The other three are going to be... I reckon in Ralgar's Reach. Yep. Thought so. Okay. I'm not going to pick them up. Because if I pick them up, I sometimes get confused. And then they'll sit in a log and they won't get done. So I'm just going to like come and get them later. So we're going back to Limsa Lominsa. Boosh! Boosh! Oh, I've got hiccups. To Limsa. I like just pressing the click button. I just enjoy the click button. What is that quest? Out of the blue. Okay, where in Limsa are we going? Lies, damn lies and pirates. What I will do tomorrow is sort out my uh, level 85 machinist's choice job. Quest thing. Job, quest, thing. Oh, 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 oh. It's a job for my for my day off stream. Stream stream. Hello. Through the drowned wrench and out the other side. Ah, oh, hello, everyone's outside. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tataru should be here any moment with our ship's captain. So we're going by sea after all. Is Moab lending us a pick of the Crimson Fleet? Not exactly. You are right in as much as we'll be travelling by sea. Regrettably... It is simply not feasible for an airship to travel such a distance without impossibly large fuel reserves, to say nothing of the inevitability of running afoul of the Empire's aerial defences. 
But then it is equally unfeasible to sail an Aeorzean Alliance vessel halfway around the world without the Empire taking notice, which leaves us with only one other option. Ah, speak of the devil. Sorry to keep you waiting. May I present to you Captain Carvalian of the Kraken's Arms? <laughs> the sussy music. <laughs> Why is the sussy music here? The Kraken's Arms? Don't tell me you made a deal with pirates. Ah, okay. Greetings and salutations, Scions. I take it from your comrade's tone that you no longer wish to proceed with our proposed arrangement. Not at all, Captain. Pray forgive my sister her outburst. She has ever been one to speak her mind. I, on the other hand, am the very soul of discretion, as many well-respected personages would attest, from the offices of the Admiral to the high houses of Ishgard. Ah, but where was I? Oh yes, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn do indeed still wish to employ your services. However, it is important that you are aware of certain extenuating circumstances. Alfie, you suck bucket. I know. What a suck butt. Yeah. Oh, hi Yuki, how you doing? And intent on securing passage to the Far East, you came to us knowing us to be the proud purveyors of said region's finest spices. Which you steal from God's fearing merchants out on the high seas. Whatever privateer in the Kraken's arms may or may not engage in is strictly within the limits of the law, as set forth by our indefat indef indef indefatigable keeper of the peace. More to the point, we are pragmatists. I see considerable risk in aiding your cause and negligible profit. Hmm. <laughs> It's like Tataru's little, I've had a thought tune. Well, I for one think the captain has a point. The five seas can be extremely treacherous and many a poor unfortunate soul has come to grief out there on the waves. Why? When we were in Ishgard, I heard the tragical tale of how the heir to House Durandur vanished at sea. Even now, nearly 20 years later, the poor count remains convinced that his son still lives and would pay a sultan's ransom for news of his whereabouts. <laughs> Truly a tragedy for the ages and a testament to the misfortunes that may befall us should we act without due consideration. But so long as you were prepared to abide the capricious whims of fate, I am willing to oblige you this once. That said, in light of the recent rebellion, I trust you understand that I cannot deliver you to Doma itself. I can take you only as far as Kagain in Hingashi. We will require time to procure sufficient provisions and make ready for departure. I humbly suggest you do the same. Clearly, he's the runaway Count's son. Kugane? Is it Kugane? I thought it was Kugane. Kugane. Is it Kugane? Ku. Kugane. Kugane. I need someone in game to say it now as well, so I can like hear it a few times. I love that. Kugane. Okay. Kugane. I thought it was Kugane. I am clearly wrong. Suddenly all those hours Tyru passed coveting and papering the Forgotten night seem rather better spent, do they not? That said, I had intended to press the point more obliquely, and there was something disconcerting about the pleasure Tyru took in making Captain Gavellian squirm. There was, but I enjoyed every goddamn second of it. Literally means dicks in Norwegian. What? Kugane means dicks in Norwegian. Japanese is phonetic. I love that. For the most part. Okay. Kugane. Kugane. One of the either current quests at the Castrum evolve into a quest chain that have good lore. But it will normally be easy to tell because all the quests of this quest chain will be blue ones, if I recall correctly. Okay, that's helpful. I'm definitely going to pick those up later um 
I tend to do those ETH current stuff things off stream. Because obviously like watching somebody whiz around and get ETH currents is a bit boring. But that might be like a little job for me tomorrow to like clear up the ETH currents in those first couple of zones. So uh, that may happen. And I will keep an eye on it. I will keep an eye. Oh, what was it we were doing the other day? Remember you said uh, if you finish something off stream, like it'll have really good lore? And it did, and I loved it. I can't remember what it was, but I was doing the end of something, and I was like, I'll probably wrap those view quests off, up off stream. And I did, and the lore was fantastic, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. <laughs> it's so hard for me to like, I'm like, what did I do on stream? What did I do off stream? Okay, are we going to Kugane now? I think we might be. I think we might be. Or are we going to have to pass some time? I say we should head, heed the captain's advice and attend to our own preparations while they ready the vessel for departure. Tataru and I would procure the necessary supplies. Alice, I should be grateful if you would use the time to brief Orionje on recent developments. You may also wish to review the relevant safety procedures in the event of an emergency at sea. Bless his little heart. How, how very prudent of you. Well, I should go and speak with him. What of Captain and Elise? The Warring Triad, you did Friday? I think it was the Warring Triad I did on Friday. I can't remember what, what like, lore came from it. Like, it'll be in my head if it comes up again. But the end of it was very interesting and very satisfying and made some sense of some things. I would like the two of you to return to Revenant's Toll and speak with our Doman allies. I fear we may know too little of their homeland and any information they can provide would be most welcome. When we have completed our respective tasks, we will reconvene here at the ferry docks. Agreed? Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Cabin. Mm -mm. Pray return to Revenant's Toll. Mm -mm -mm. We are returning. We're going there now. Revenant's tall and it's in Moderna. Moderna. It's always right down the bottom. It's alright at the bottom of the list. Dibbity dip 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 well, here we are. We'll need to talk to lots of people, so I think we should split up. I'll ask around at the House of Splendors. You take the Rising Stones. I'll meet you here. Got it? The optional trial quest lines tend to have pretty good lore. Yeah, so far, they really have. With Unikali, uh, I don't know, it's written like this. Yeah, makes sense. Arianje, Ishdola, and Kryal at Azazelar. Yes, that was the one. And then we found out like he was from another world and there was a whole bunch of kind of like other stuff around it that will come back to me when it matters. Higiri! Greetings, Captain. What brings you to the toll this day? <laughs> what? You are for Doma? Heavens, you scions have shown us naught but kindness, but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine you would fight for our homeland. For 25 years we suffered under the tyranny, and then we spied an opportunity. The Emperor, dead, Garlemald in chaos. It seemed the time was ripe. Beneath our Lord's banners we gathered and fought to reclaim our nation. But when Xenos arrived and the Legion, it was over in an instant. Okay, 12th Legion. Unukali, Unukali. Hmm. What is it, my friend? You look as though you have something to ask. <laughs> that you've got... That you go to join Iguri and Kusetsu in the fight fills me with such joy. Ah, oh, give my exuberance. You require information, yes? We of the Nagai clan have served Doma faithfully for generations. My ancestors held positions with Doma Castle. Now it is home to the Imperial Viceroy's witch... And her host of men and Magitech. To think that what was once the shining symbol of our heritage and the seat of dear Lord Cain has become a den of Garlean dogs. Okay. Twelfth. Twelfth. Yep. Twelfth. Mm -hmm. 
the um, legion. That's what I said. Well, you are truly planning to travel to Doma. Wait, that's not what to say. Forgive me. I shall hate you to the best of my ability. The Az is a beautiful land, nestled on the eastern coast of Othard. Along the banks of the river of the One River, our nation thrived, proud and free, until the Garleans came twenty-five years ago. The river was our lifeblood, free to travel and to fish, but travel was soon restricted, and now the river belongs to none. Okay, big river. Let's go the one. There's a nice castle. There's a mean lady in charge. We've got to go and fix it. This is what we learned. Oh, all the blue crests stressing me out. Dun, 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 dun. If it doesn't have an ETH current, I ain't doing it. Ah, oh, there you are. Learn anything interesting? The older domans I spoke with tried to teach me all about Far Eastern customs and the importance of formality and politeness. I'd like to think Eolzians can be just as stiff and stuffy as anyone, especially Ishgardians. But anyway, did you know that they eat with sticks? It wasn't all that hard, actually. Or at least, that's what I thought until they told me I was holding them wrong. And then, when I spoke with the younger domans, they just rolled their eyes and told me it was all a load of stupid old... Wow, what you learned sounds a lot more useful. Unless someone invites us for dinner, of course. I hope they do. It's time to return to Limsa. We should head back to Limsa. Limsa, Alphanord said to meet at the ferry docks, I think. He did. Yeah, I spotted that Unicarly had some like uh, optional sort of quest text. Not quest text, optional flavor text, sorry. Honestly, I'll probably just forget it if I read it. I'm very forgetful. But it's sort of the general themes go in. <laughs> 